Okay, to create a relative track inside of your sequencer, we're gonna select our object. Let's go ahead and drag it in. Um, let's go ahead and go in here and we're gonna say relative. Um, and then one thing you'll notice is that this thing may go flying off into space. We need to check our zero, 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 perfect. This first transform tack, I'm going to delete like so. Okay, so now this one, it's good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and say zero, 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 perfect. Let's go ahead and just key one of these and you'll notice this is where it disappears. Okay, it's way over there. So what's happening is it's taking this 1837 and it's just basically adding it to this already 1837. So I need to delete that or rather set zero. Okay, cool. So there's that one. So then we can go over here to the end and I'm gonna move this just 512 like so. Cool, so now this thing will move 512 every time that this button is actually pressed. The other thing that we have to worry about is that this track, I'm going to edit section and we're going to say keep state. So that way it stays where it is when it gets done and then it'll just continue to add it onto it. So this thing should go forward multiple times. All right, so let's go ahead and save this, save all, save everything. Go ahead and push our changes. And now that we're here in the game, let's go ahead and hit it. it moves forward. It does not reset. Yay. Hit it and it'll move forward again. It'll move forward again. Cool. So there's that. Um, one key thing to remember is that this doesn't actually work. So <laughs> it doesn't auto key. You actually have to set keys here. So just kind of keep that in mind because yay, bug.